I know you're a clever girl, Hilda, and you just had some bad luck this time. But even if you delegate the job to another, the ultimate responsibility still lies with you, so you need to be careful. I know. I'm sorry. Then take that responsibility and finish this. Though this much is going to be difficult alone. Ah, Marianne. Come here. Of course. What do you need? I want you to help Hilda. Um, alright. I can do that. Thank you. Now get to it, you two. <sighs> Boy, you really blew it this time, Hilda. This isn't like you at all. Sorry you got dragged into this, Marianne. No, it's all right. So, um, what should I do? Could I ask you to organize all the weapons and armor here by type? I'm going to start with separating the useful stuff from the broken stuff. I was apparently supposed to put each category of item into a different box and take them all to storage. But the message got lost somewhere along the way, which is why everything's now in this giant pile. I understand. How are you doing over there, Maria? What the? This is even worse than before! Um, yes, I'm sorry. I tried to be very specific with how I separated things, but it got a bit out of hand. Hilda, Marianne, I'm coming to check on your progress, and I had better be impressed. Oh, shoot! She's coming! Quick, shove all of this stuff under a rug or something! Hmm. Ladies, correct me if my eyes are mistaken, but this is in even worse shape than when I first left. Um, I... I'm sorry, Judith. It's all my fault. I had everything arranged just like you wanted, but then, whoops, I tripped and crashed into the pile and everything sort of went everywhere. <laughs> I see. Hilda, when I told you to take responsibility for your tasks, I didn't mean you had to burden yourself with absolutely everything. Right, got it. I'll definitely be more careful. <clears throat> Well, why don't the two of you take a short break? This mess clearly isn't going anywhere. I'm so sorry, Hilda. This is all my fault. Eh, don't worry about it. I mean, it's actually my fault in the first place, you know? Come on, let's go take that break. I need a cup of tea in a bad way. All right. Thank you, Hilda. Marianne? Ah! Marianne! There you are. I thought you'd be in the chapel. I, um... I went to pray earlier than usual today. You're really committed to this whole praying every single day thing, aren't you? Oh, no. It's nothing so grand. And besides... Praying to the goddess daily on behalf of my friends is really all I'm good for. Okay, stop. Seriously? You're amazing, Marianne. There's a ton of stuff you do that no one else could possibly handle. I suppose so. Yeah? Well, I know so. Um, Hilda? Why are you always so nice to me? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have so many other close friends. Yet you always seem to go out of your way to show me kindness and decency. You even took responsibility when Judith was about to berate me during our armor sorting escapade. Yeah, I guess I did, huh? I totally forgot about that. Yes, and I have wondered ever since why you did such a thing. Eh, 
It's no big deal. I guess I just wanted to be nice. Seriously, Marianne, you're the best, and having you around makes my life a lot easier. So just consider it my way of saying thanks for all the times you helped me out. I've helped you? Absolutely! You're my emotional support! You're always around when I need a shoulder to cry on or somebody to listen when I get all mad. You always know the exact right thing to say, and then you smile at the end of it and it's like, I don't know, it makes me all warm inside. You do all that little stuff without even thinking of it, and it really keeps me going. I never thought of it like that. I had no idea you found me helpful. If anything, I thought you considered me a burden. Thank you, Hilda. Your words, they... they mean a lot to me. And I will do my best to support you in all the days yet to come. There's that smile. You never fail to brighten my day, Marianne.